It's not even up there. Oh, that's so cute. Good, like a little squeak. Is that you? Oh, that's the parakeets. Yes. Very cold. Poor birds. Hang on, I forgot to look over there. Yeah, it kind of is like a wall of light. It's moments like these that I'm just kind of in awe because it, it was almost as if it was saying, here's a message, put that thing on that you do. And it's like I put it on and then the configuration in the sky is such that it almost echoes exactly how I've had the screen layout. So then I'm thinking to myself, oh, I'm getting a message saying, put it on put it on, yeah, put, make sure you put that layer on. So I've switched it on. And you're going to see... What is that noise? Um, so we'll just have a little experiment. seen the goddamn cloud as well. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I've seen that cloud too. And um oh, getting a message. Oh The, uh, we have the sky, so the, the, the correct way of looking at it, the, the one, the unaltered version would be in the lower bottom right. So if you want to know what's happening as I see it, then the bottom right, and then you've got the other, the other panels as well. Uh, so you can see what it would look like in context with the other pieces um, and then if I was to uh, 
to also include the mirroring filter too. Um, it then gives me this two additional dynamics. And then on top of that, I've also got a second uh, symmetrical layer. Um, so, yes. I've uh, expanded the concept significantly. So we get to see multiple points of symmetry. Uh, in various configurations, both going inwardly and outwardly. So there's outwardly. There's outgoing in. And that's in going out. Not to mention uh, Cloud Therapy Classic. <laughs> uh, it's interesting, you can see the shapes. What I find really helpful about the additional axes of symmetry um, is that when you're seeing it repeated and in a kind of stereogram, it really does add something to it. Um, that previously you wouldn't have noticed without the rest of it. So it, it, I do believe that by doing this you do get a better sense of what's there. You get to see it in uh, multiple dynamics at the same time, which I think is probably the closest, closest we can get to an idea of uh, multidimensionality being represented through this medium. Um, and that, that's what I'm kind of experimenting with, uh, using the, the medium and the footage to create uh, images which uh, are viewing something but in multiple dimensions, um, in a sense. So that's the point of my artwork. It's, it's presenting, presenting what exists uh, within the 3D and then adding additional depth to it through, you know, on a fractal basis. It's repeating itself. Um, and I think in doing so, it, it, it's the same principle as, as sacred geometry, you know. Uh, it's like opening a doorway and, and, and peering behind, behind the veil. Uh, and, and when the when the stuff started to respond to the act of being observed, and um, then the act of uh, trying to communicate to it, I got a response back. And in the same way, I've noticed something very similar in how I've um, been developing my relationship with the birds. Uh, as well. Um, I use a rattle to get the attentions of the uh, of the magpies in the area when I put food down and after a little while they'll come. I've stood there and watched many times and, and said over there, over there and, and eventually it goes over there and you're like okay, uh, something's going on, you know. Um, it's just, it's just uh, I'm sending my energy, I'm sending my will over to it to say, look, it's over there on the wall. I'm visualizing where it is and then sending that image to the magpie as I'm watching. And sure enough, within a few seconds of that, it's done it. Um, anyway, the, my main point is that I've also noted with the birds, it's like there is a, when you start interacting, you can observe them and they'll carry on doing their thing when you start to interact. You know, not necessarily with them directly, but you're presenting them something, a way of interacting on a level that I, you can relate to. The birds need feeding too. They need to eat and drink. So 
by presenting them with this acknowledgement that they need to do it, um, that they are then aware that, oh, these human beings are able to do this for us. And so there is a kind of association, a positive association for this part, perhaps, uh, where human beings equals food. Uh, for the birds, I guess. <laughs> Maybe three archons too. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Uh, maybe that's, who, that's what the birds really are. They're, that's where they're hiding. <laughs> the birds. Oh, that's funny. Um, that's what birds really are. <laughs> um, good. Don't think the dogs like that. Turn that down. Uh, where was I? Uh, so yeah, um, there's a, a, the act of observing, and then the act of interacting through a mutual medium of some kind. So with the birds, it's through food and sustenance. With the sky, I find I think it's through vision through uh, through art through music through creativity it's like it's and you know not only do I get to observe um, what, I, what it is I've been observing for the last two and a half years or whatever how long it's been um, I also uh, get to interact with it because I've actually created my own a kind of bird feeding table, but for the for the sky. You know, the sky doesn't need to eat food or drip or, or or drink water, but to be watched and to be provided with a platform or uh, a canvas to work with and a little bit of creative interaction and it seems to respond and anyone could say to me you're delusionally <laughs> you think the sky is reacting to you it's responding to you yes I do believe that I also believe that it's doing its own thing you know, whatever's going on up there, it's got its own shit to do with. But I think there is elements up there, things that we perhaps can't see with our own uh, standard vision, um, that we will begin to see and experience and interact with. I just happen to have caught on at this point. Maybe there are plenty of people who have already been doing this for a long time before me and there will probably be new people coming uh, yet yet to start but I hope and like to think that perhaps what I've done here is has been a new thing perhaps something you know this is YouTube I haven't seen any other cloud watching type videos where they they present in this way um, it's fairly unique in, in what it's about, even though it's about the same thing as, as those things. I think that's a beauty though. We're all creative people and beings and we have our own unique way, our own unique take on, on how we're presenting what we're experiencing. Um, anyway, that's it for me, I think. I just wanted to put this out there. I have no idea what I'm going to call it. <laughs> anyway, thank you.